Hey, welcome back to another video on the channel. And in this video, we will see the functionality of split valuation. Split valuation is a concept in the materials management module, which also has its impact on the finance module. Split valuation is used to evaluate a same material differently based on various criteria like origin, quality, or procurement type, or status, etc. So in this video, we will dive deep into the purpose, features, and the practical steps to implement split valuation in the SAP MM module. Before we go into the details, do not forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. More subscriptions give more and more motivation to post many such videos. So you can also contribute to my work by joining the channel by clicking on the join button below this video and get access to the member-only videos, coupons, discounts, etc. And if you are looking for a one-time contribution, then you can hit the thanks button below this and help me prepare more such content for free on YouTube. So let us jump into the video. Split valuation allows us to evaluate the stocks of the same material separately within a particular valuation area, which can be a company code or a plan. This is essential when the materials come from different origins or have different quality grades or are managed differently due to procurement methods or the production process. For example, imagine you are procuring a raw material both from local suppliers as well as from an international vendor. The cost of the material from different regions will most likely vary and it is essential to reflect this difference in your financial records. Similarly, if you have a same material but in a different conditions like new or refurbished condition or damaged condition, then each condition will have a different value. So this split valuation helps in managing these variations effectively. So here are a few examples of split valuation. One is procurement type. That means a material can be either manufactured internally, that means an in-house production, or can be procured externally from a third party vendor. So in that cases, the prices for the internally manufactured material variant will be different from than that of what is procured externally from the third party vendor. Similarly, country of origin, a material that is procured domestically will have a different price compared to the same material which is available by a foreign vendor. On the quality grades, a simple material might be of different qualities, for example, good, medium and low. So depending upon the quality of that particular material, the piece of the material, the value also can be changed. So what is the significance of split valuation in the procurement process? We know that the procurement process in MM module starts with a purchase requisition or a purchase order and ends with the confirmation of the goods receipt. And a significant aspect of this process is material valuation. And this material valuation is closely integrated with the financial accounting module. So the material valuation in SAP MM affects how the transactions are updated in the respective GL accounts, making it a critical part of the financial management. When you procure materials from different sources or in varying conditions, the costs can differ significantly. So split valuation ensures that these differences are accurately captured allowing for more precise cost control and financial reporting. This capability is particularly important for organizations where a material is both purchased as well as produced in the same plant and it avoids the redundancy of maintaining multiple material master data just for maintaining different costs. So here are certain key elements of split valuation. So First one is the partial stock management. When a material is subjected to split valuation, it's managed as a several partial stocks. That means a single material is further classified into several partial stocks and each partial stock is evaluated separately based on its specific characteristics. For instance, one partial stock might represent materials procured externally and while another represents materials that are produced in-house. The second one is valuation category. In SAP MM, the valuation category determines the criteria for differentiating the partial stocks. 
some common examples can be procurement type or origin or quality sap provides few standard valuation categories so h is for origin q is for quality b is for procurement type we can also create our own valuation categories a valuation category is a one character id and we can use any character on the keyboard to create a valuation category now each valuation category is associated with a valuation type which specifies the individual characteristics of the partial stock for example if we create a valuation category as origin then we can have a valuation type for domestic and foreign which represents materials that are sourced from within the country or outside of the country so how can we create materials for split valuation there are three different steps while creating a single material record a same material when you are using it for split valuation first one is to create a valuation header record so what we do is we first create a material master data like how we create any regular material master data and in this material master data we enter a valuation category in the accounting view the valuation category determines how the material is split for valuation purposes and at this stage we will leave the valuation type field blank in the material master data the system once we save it will create a valuation header record which accumulates the values and quantities of the individual partial stocks the second step is to recreate the same material again in mm01 transaction and this time we are going to assign valuation types so after we create a valuation header record in the first step then we create individual records for each valuation type so once we try to recreate the same material then the system will ask us what is a valuation type and we enter the valuation type and we maintain certain characteristics like what is the price for that valuation type so depending upon the number of valuation types that are needed for a single valuation category we need to repeat this step multiple times for example if the valuation category is set to differentiate between in house production and external procurement then we need to create separate records for each valuation type such as internal and external the third step is to repeat for each valuation type as i said this process of assigning valuation types on the valuation header record is to be repeated for every valuation type that we intend to use so this ensures that each type of stock is managed separately within the system allowing for accurate and detailed valuation so what is the advantage of this the advantage is we will have only one material master data only one material record but that material record is treated in separate partial stocks and each partial stock which is by assigning a valuation type will have its own price and it can be managed individually so this is the concept of split valuation in sap mm and this is how it also impacts the valuation of a material in the fi module so in the next video we will see a example of how we can create a material master data and how posting a purchase order will differentiate for different partial stocks for the same material so see you in the next video and take care